welcome back to this playthrough of Neverwinter Nights. We have successfully cleared the Beggar's Nest. But we didn't finish a lot of the quests that were here. So, I'm going to wander around and see if we can solve some of them. Oh, this looks like a dead end. Let's see if we can find a temple and... You know what, maybe we should just try to go finish this one. But I know the guy in this barricaded home over here, we already... His quest should be completed. We just need to give him, what is it, the ring I think we have. Hi there. Well, at least the zombies have stopped. Do you know anything about that? I'm worried for my brother. He was mixed up in some cult. I'd just like to know where he is. Torin has never been gone this long. If you happen to be in the estate in the northwest, well, this is my problem. Uh, well, unfortunately, I found this ring in the cult hideout. Recognize it? That's it? That, that was my brother's? He always had it with him. He's dead. I know it. I thank you. I don't know why you did this. You seem so harsh, but thank you. Uh, I don't really need to try to get more out of this poor guy. Farewell, then. Keep safe out there. Excellent. I'm leveled up. Let's see here. Um, at some point, we could try to do one of these. I don't think we're anywhere near any of them right now, though. So we'll just keep doing Barbarian. And probably just put points into the usual, I guess. Uh, let's see, Intimidate, Listen, Lore. Hey, that lore did come in handy. I was able to identify that item. Heal, Discipline. I don't know if I should keep putting points into Heal or not. Hmm. I mean, I've used it a few times. It's already pretty high. I don't know if I need to keep boosting it or not. Uncanny Dodge 2. Ah, oh, let's see what that gets us. Uncanny dodge, too. This feat grants a plus one bonus on reflex saving throws made to avoid traps. The character also retains his dex bonus to AC, even if caught flat-footed or attacked by a hidden or invisible creature. Hmm, seems useful. Okay, and I've got 72 hit points now, which is also very nice. Alright. And I... Let's see... I don't think Tommy's going to level up, like even, let's see, we are, we are level 5, and Tommy is still level 4, so I think when we level up next time, he'll level up then, because I think they said he was always going to be one level behind me. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go. This was the strange building, so we don't need to worry about that. That was to the graveyard, which we cleared that out. Let's look around over here. Grab a coin. Grab a few coins here, of course. Who's this? Warehouse. We can check that out. We gotta keep an eye out for any bodies, because that guard could be out here somewhere and we're just missing him. Oh, chain shirt, that's probably worth a couple bucks. And I don't know if there's traps in here or not, I better turn that on just to be safe. Okay, okay. Listen to the music. Makes you think a battle's about to happen. <laughs> I don't see anything though. Huh, more gaunt more gauntlets. Can we identify it? We can. Gloves of concentration. Alright, well that's a few worth a few bucks.
your light wands. Five gold pieces. Oh, uh, chest. Okay, okay. There's a door there too. Huh? There's a couple doors around here. Healer's kit. That's always nice. I wonder if Tommy's getting any, any experience. Oh, wait, no! Oh, no, I meant to click the detect. What an idiot. Well, I've got some goods. I guess we could sell them since, since we're here. And we'll just pay the 50 to go back. One of the bards here, and I believe I heard Lord Nasher himself humming the tune in the hall. Oh, of course. Yeah, chain shirts. Oh, wow, chain shirts not even worth 50. Wow. So that's yeah. You will, I suppose. Well, you know what I wanted to check was if she had two pages. Oh, she does. Ah, look at that. She does have some stuff here. Can't wear half of it, anyways. I guess. Cloak of fortification. Plus one. Oh, how much does that cost? Oh, 5,000. Well, 23,000. What's Cloak of Movement do? Freedom, so you won't get stuck with, uh, bound by anything. Slows and webs and things like that. That's always nice. Alright, well, so she does have a second page. It doesn't really do me any good, though. I can't wear most of it, because I can't wear heavy armor. I bet you I could take the feet to take heavy armor later, though, I bet. Um, so I never actually... Wait a second. I want to go into this door over here. Oh, that just takes me out to the beggar's nest. Okay. The back side. Okay. That's fine. Let's go over here, then. And see what was down here. I don't know. Seems like it would be a trap down here for some reason. Oh, there's a gray haze that's down here for some reason. I don't know why there's a gray haze or green haze down here. But it's highly suspect. Let's crate out. Floor spar. Okay. Uh, like what's with the green glow everywhere? That's pretty creepy. Wonder if there's supposed to be undead in here, but we as we finish the main quest, we're going here afterwards. I wonder if they're all just gone. Doesn't appear to. Yeah, I mean, there doesn't appear to be anything in here. A crate over there in a box. Guess we can go check that out real fast. Hmm, that's something decent, I suppose. A bunch of potions of cure light wounds in here. Wow. Light cross. Well, I don't I don't want that. Most of this basic stuff. I'm starting to know it's not worth anything. I don't know if it's worth my time to pick it up. I mean, you can only hold so much weight, and the characters are already pretty weighed down. What have I got? Yeah, I mean, I can, oh, I can hold 200 now. Oh, because I got the boost to my strength. That was doubly good. That gave me a nice increase. Awesome. Uh, let's try this door, I suppose. Chest over there, and a chest over here. Okay, okay. Yeah, that boost to my strength is really nice. I forgot that'll make it so I can hold more. Ah, uh, it's done. 
I got a rapier. Oh, that's probably, what am I doing? That's probably not worth anything, but I might as well grab it, I guess, since I do have the uh, storage space for it. And now I have the strength with my last two boosts and my strength really gave me a good increase. Between the magic item and then the level four increase. That guy looks pretty good, too. Look at that. Uh, look at that there. Nice shiny armor. Grab three gold. Wow, what a joke. Let's try going in this door and see if there's anything. Anything at all. Stairs down. Huh, this is going like deeper and deeper here. That's weird. Oh, I can't go in there though. Look at that. Unless there's somebody. Oh, there's a prisoner. Oh, I wonder if that's the card. Ah, uh, it's done. That'd be convenient. We found him. Light hammer. Oh, we'll take it. Club plus one. Awesome. Plus one's gonna increase the price nicely. Oh, there, there's Walters. All right. I hope the day finds you well. Looks like things are finally settling down in the beggar's nest. The undead are gone. Was it you that put an end to what was happening? Thanks if it was. Is the way to the main gate safe? I'm a bit weak because of all the fighting that was going on. You should just run to the gate. I suppose it would be all right now. There's not too much danger. Now the undead soon to be gone. Thanks for your help. That's excellent. I can go back and get that reward at some point. There's no way to get through that. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. What happens if I just run into it? Oh, nothing. You don't get zapped, but you can't go through. Okay, well... I will head back around here and leave here, I suppose. Maybe there's some back way to get in there since it says stairs down. But I'm guessing. So, let's see. The only one we haven't found yet is the mage guy who's supposed to go to the Hell Knight Temple. So, at least when we go there, we should be able to get some details, I'm hoping. Check my journal. Uh, yep, lost soul. That was that one. And we need to talk to the guard at the uh, at the beginning and see if he'll give us a reward or not for that Walters guy. But we'll just make our way back around towards the front. What's this door? Oh. The door you are not getting in. All right then. Keep away from my stuff, you undead freaks! Should we die for this lousy furniture? It was your mother's and smells funny. You just watch yourself. If you're dead, so help me, I'll make you deader. What? Easy. I'm not your enemy. Huh? The dead ones don't talk back, so I guess you're okay. Can't blame a guy for being careful, though. You ain't seen a tall folk named Hector, have you? Sent him out for wagon parts, and damned if he ain't just disappeared. Sorry, I haven't seen him. Dang it down, do me a favor. If you see him, tell him to get those wagon parts back here on the devil. I'll tell him if I see him. Good luck. I don't get good luck. I get stuck in a zombie-filled city with a broken wagon and the scorn of my wife. Thanks anyway, I guess. You'll wish you were, uh, deader. You dead. Uh, I'm dead. Whatever. We can buy new things here. That's something there. Door there. I don't know what it's for. What's this? It's a shining serpent. That's where I was supposed to go in the first place. 
I forgot about that. I never actually ended up getting there. I wonder where the head guard is. I wonder if he'll still give me a reward for dealing with it. Seems like it's this guy. Now, who might you be then? I don't have a lot of time to talk. We're busy with cleanup now that the zombie threat seems to be over. I killed the creature that caused the undead. I heard you turned it into Arabeth. Good. She'll know what to do it. Do with it. Am I to be rewarded for my efforts? Fair enough. I know Arabeth is more keen on duty as its own reward. Me, I like coins. Here's 500 gold for your trouble. Not a lot in the way of items floating around, but the money will serve you well. Come now, don't I deserve more than that? Dang, I don't think that would be very fair. I have paid when I can, and there's not much more. Well, thanks. Farewell. Thank you. Be safe out there. I could threaten him, but it doesn't seem like that's going to do anything, especially because it doesn't actually have the intimidate skill around it, which makes me think it's not going to be used, which means there's no point at all if the intimidate skill is not going to be used. Well, hello to you. I guess he doesn't actually want to talk to me. Okay, well, we'll leave. We got five... We got 500 gold, so that's nice. Now we're back up to 1,700. Very nice. Let's look... Over here. Mysterious assailant. What the heck? Well, that was dumb of him to just pop up and get, ki get himself killed. Oh, what are they sent by? Arabeth? She doesn't like it that her creatures she accidentally let out? I'm killing them? Seems like it. I don't know. For some reason I'm starting to suspect her. There we go. Well, we got three out of four. I guess we don't have to worry about it. She's like beating this person up for some reason. Whoever this is though. Mysterious assailant's not very good at this. It's like attacking random citizens. Aha, uh, anonymous letter. That's what we want. I'll read that. Anything else? I didn't drop anything else. No. Okay. Let's go to inventory and see what this is. In the place of a signature, this letter bears the mark of a stylized reptilian eye. It strikes you as somehow familiar, as if you've seen it before. Perhaps in a different context. You examine the text closer. Uh, let's see here. Read this letter well. Commit its words to, uh, to heart, for I am your master, and there are those who would seek to thwart us, the people of the eye. Lady Arabeth has promoted some adventurers into the militia and sent them out to seek the creatures of the cure. They have already been successful once, and they must not be so again. You must stalk them from every shadow, pursue them at every turn. Those creatures are to be set loose and hidden wherever they are, uh, wherever they are out of reach. Do not fail me in this. Remember, I hold the power to grant you life in this place of death. Your lives are mine to deny. Uh, long live the people of the eye. This note should be shown to someone in authority. Probably not Arabeth. Well, you might want to show it to one of those other guys, actually, that are in the temple. They might be the ones to talk to. Shining Serpent. Yes, I know that. Oh, is this the temple? Perfect. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, no, Temple of Helm. It is. Let's talk to Bertrand here. Yeah. Uh, I suppose people of all sorts must find shelter here. Even the likes of you. Greetings, I am Bertrand. Oh, great. Was this guy a racist? Like, I look great. Look at that. You'll forgive me if I'm a bit distracted. I have, not, I have been hoping that... Well, I need not burden you with my troubles. You just did. Out with it. What do you want? I am sorry if I appear to... Uh, if I appear to lead you. But as I said, I am distracted. I've been waiting for my brother. I lost him in all the commotion. Have you seen many survivors? Or just zombies? Not many are willing to risk traveling. This place is safe. But getting here may be beyond the, the abilities of many people. 
Some people may also be afraid of gathering together because of the risk of plague. Isolation doesn't work as well against zombies, though. Tell me of your brother. His name is Marcus. Marcus Penhold. I shouldn't be worried. He's quite competent, and the heirloom he carries is powerful, too. Marcus? Was he a mage, perhaps? Kept a journal? Yes, that sounds like him. Have you seen him? Uh, I am sorry, but he fell to zombies. I found his body. That, that cannot be. I will not believe it, not until I see his belongings with my own eyes. Uh, hold up journal. I found his body. Look, I found his journal. You hold that book with no doubt in your eyes. I, I have to believe you. I, I don't even know he wrote. And you, what is your intention then? You have his journal. Was there anything else? Uh, he had a family heirloom that I would request be returned. I found his possessions. I could give them to you. I cannot believe he had a journal. Take it. I thank you. Uh, I can at least have this little piece of him back. It is no replacement, but it is something. I don't have anything else of his. I thank you, though I am sure there was more. It will show up eventually, I'm sure. I hope. Huh. I don't think I had another item, though. Marked it as completed. Huh. No, I don't think I found another item. Or if I did, maybe I sold it accidentally, not knowing. What it was. Wagon repair. Huh, that's odd with the fact that those uh other guys were waiting for someone to come. Let's see what they have to say. Uh oh yeah, they're Hector. A long day. I could use a drink. You you dead. Hector punch you if you are. No, you're alive. Hector Punch? Are you an imbecile? Me? Me Hector. Me work for Aldo and work hard. Gotta find wagon parts. But me only find broken stuff. You see any not broken anywhere? I saw him. He's looking for you. Ooh, he probably mad. Me can't find any parts, which means he can't move his stuff. He sure likes his stuff. Maybe you could, uh, come with me to tell him there's no parts. He gets real mad sometimes. I'll take you, sure. Where is he? Good, good. Aldo is guarding his wagon in the middle of the beggar's nest. Uh, just don't let him bug you. He gets mad. Thanks. I got it, buddy. Let's go find him. Uh, da -da -da -da. I think that's about it, then. Right? It was a barricaded home. Yeah, it's nothing. We'll go back and talk with, uh... The guard at the front. That should be good. More live ones. Imagine that. Now, if it was just that fool Hector and my parts. Oh, wait. Where is he? He's not with me. You ain't seen a tall folk named Hector, have you? Sent him out for wagon parts and damned if he ain't just disappeared. Oh, well, wait, I thought he was... Oh, no, he's right there. What are you doing, dude? Oh, there he is. Okay. I tried, boss. Ain't no parts nowhere, though. I swears it. All right, all right, relax, you lummox. Let's just figure out what we do now. Time to abandon ship, I'll wager. No parts means no wagon. Ah, well. Thanks for bringing Hector here, friend. I think we'll find our own way out now. No sense staying. Sure is a fine wagon, though. I'll miss you, girl. Okay, so 100, 100 experience points. That's not bad. Let's head back out to front. Talk with the head guard. That ought to be worth a few uh, experience points. Gate Captain Urgus. I have to talk to you. Hello. 
Oh, there we go. Don't even have to worry about my missing man. Walters made it back in one piece. Thanks to you, if you had anything to do with it. I did. Oh, you're not going to give me a reward, huh? Nope, these are all the same things he said before. Dang. Did he not give me anything? Doesn't look like it, huh? Oh, well. Maybe I got some experience when I actually found Walters. I don't remember now. Oh, that's right. I wanted to go back to the main thing. Because I have that letter, that cult letter. Let's drop that off with Erevath? I don't know. Maybe I need to drop it off from all the other two. Let's get healed real quick and sell any gear we have. Light hammer. Good. Oh, now that must tell her the note. Here, I believe I heard Lord. Let me see. Hmm. You were right to bring this note to our attention. Take it to Fenthic. He is the one in charge. Oh, no, Fenthic. Behind all this, he will find your note most interesting. I am sure. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, make it so I don't have to talk to Fenthig. Oh well. Let's go talk. I wonder what Destler would say if I showed him the letter. mistake when he appointed Erebeth to be in charge of finding a cure for the plague. My Hellmites are better equipped to deal with this crisis of faith. People should put their faith in the gods, not in Lady Erebeth. Oh, well I can't really talk to him, so never mind. And well met as always. Is there something I may do for you? I thought you might be interested in this note. Let me see, Beryl. Oh, the people of the eye. A cult in Neverwinter is dark news indeed, especially one bent on preventing us from recovering the water Davian creatures. Before you launch a time consuming investigation into some mysterious cult, Fenthic, you might want to uh you might want more evidence. For all we know, this note is a fake. Why would I make a fake note about a cult in Neverwinter? Maybe you plan to sell trinkets to ward off the evil magic of this imaginary cult. You would not be the first person to exploit the panic for personal gain. Oh gosh, all you people are in charge? Enough, Dester. You have no right to make such accusations. Beryl has done nothing but help us in these troubled times. Please accept my apologies for Destler's behavior, Beryl. We are all under a great deal of stress. Rest assured that I intend to follow every lead in my efforts to find out who is behind the suffering of Neverwinter. You have done well to bring this to me, Beryl. Is there some type of reward for bringing this to your attention? You have proven your, wor uh, your worth through your deeds, Beryl. Here are 200 gold pieces for your service. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not playing a bad character. Look at that. You better dig a little deeper, or you won't live long enough to die from the plague. Uh, I'm not even going to... I'll just say thank you. I'm not even going to bother trying to persuade him. Uh, no, I'll be going now. Goodbye, Fenthic. I'll take my 200 gold and leave. Luckily, those assailants weren't very tough. Wait a second. Is this the right way? Oh, this is the right way. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is the Black Lake District. Like, there's nothing else oops, on our journal, right? Henchman and the Wailing Death. Yeah, the main quest. And the Black Lake District is over here. What's this one? Castle. Oh, the castle. Well, I'm guessing they're not going to let me in there. Just a guess, of course. Alright, well, this is probably good. Yeah, this is a good place to stop. Next week, or next time, I should say. We will wander into the Black Lake District and uh, figure out which creature's in there. I hope you enjoyed that, and thanks for watching.